Hawkesbury Road, called Ferry Road until 1962, runs from Mount Crosby Road to Moggle Road. We start at its northern end in the Anstead Bushland Reserve. From the car park, walk west past the first pavilion, then along a bush track and visit the viewing platform situated above Sugar's Quarry. Next, continue along the track down to the floor of the quarry, which was opened in 1887 by Thomas Sugars and operated by the family until 1924. Return to Hawkesbury Road and turn right to go up the hill. At the top you pass the house sites of Thomas Sugars and his son Harold, and then Sugars Road, which follows the boundary between Bell Bowery and Anstead and commemorates the family's contribution to both suburbs. <clears throat> now you're going down Carty's Hill, renamed Ghost Hill, by the locals after Hubie Carty saw a ghost there one night on his way home. At the bottom of the hill are properties originally owned by two of the district's pioneers. On your right the large revegetated area was Robert Sexton's and on your left was A.J. Hallett's. In the 1950s both properties were part of Sir Douglas Wadley's dairy farm. Further along past Castlereagh Street the SES District Headquarters is on your right. The next point of interest is the Eggers property, which has been owned and farmed by the family since 1916. Today Rob and Jenny graze cattle, raise alpacas and run an earth-moving business. At the junction with Whitty Road, note the, note the house in the southern corner. This was the family home of the Westerways, who owned extensive pineapple farms on both Mogul and Priors Pocket Roads. The house was moved here from 3525 Moggle Road. Back to Hawkesbury Road, the next site of interest is on the riverside. It was the Bedwell's large poultry and mixed farm and notably the site of the Moggle Sandstone Quarry. This stone was used in a number of major Brisbane public buildings erected in the late 1800s, including the Customs House. Further along on your left is a large bird cage. This indicates the location of Percy Watson's Mogul sawmill. His son Jack relocated the mill to the current site of the SES headquarters and finally to Lake Manchester Road at Mount Crosby. Next door to the property with a bird cage is the Pines, now a world class equestrian centre. For many years this was only Westcott's poultry farm. The sheds have gone but the house is still used by the current owners. Further down on your right is the Queensland Mounted Police Academy, originally a dairying and farming property like many of those along Hawkesbury Road. Towards the end of the road on your left you go past the Beach family property. The core of their house is still there and on your right is the property once owned by the Robinson family who helped finance the relocation of the original St Catherine's Church from Bow Desert to Grandview Road in the 1950s.